I think the great people in food today really know who their market is, really understand and listen, uh, and then really can source and utilize ingredients regionally and whether they're popular ingredients or sentimental ingredients or ingredients that people come to know and love, comfort food to, to a great cheeseburger to Michelin star food, it all, it all gives you the same emotional connection. Given the opportunity to be creative for anyone, I mean, me personally, is, is just something that I live for. Uh, food is in my blood. What intrigued me the most about this opportunity with developing a food portfolio is the ability to step outside of the box where I feel like in America today, this was an afterthought. This was like the housing was first and food was breakfast, lunch, and dinner was just, hey, you know, let's feed them. It's not a dining hall or a cafeteria style setting. Uh, really, we wanted to set the stage and, and really blaze a path here. And it's, we want you to come into this community and feel like you have an a la carte restaurant. I mean, dishes are cooked from scratch. Uh, orders are taken and cooked a la minute. Here, there's development and there's opportunity for the chefs on property to be creative. And we want to feature fresh ingredients. We want to feature specials. We want seasonality to come into play. So I really think that, you know, we're dealing with a community that, that knows food so much and has such an emotional connection to it uh, and, and, and know we can get it fresh and available to us daily now with what's happening in this world. Why not utilize that and why not give it back to the people who are gonna appreciate it most? You know, day one of culinary school for me was you can't make a great soup unless you have a great stock. That's your base, that's your foundation. At the end of the day, understanding where to get the ingredients and having great ingredients to start with, amazing. You know, and that's really what it is. I mean, if you take a Petaluma organic free range chicken or a wild strawberry, you know, it, it, it's instantaneous when you taste it. That's your foundation, the key to success, the recipe, so to speak, for success. Not only that, you need passionate people. Uh, you know, kitchens are illuminated by the staff, not the electricity. You know, when we look for people in this community, gotta love to cook, gotta love to please people. You're in the hospitality business. If you don't like making people happy, you're in the wrong business. If you, you know, if you, if you don't wanna meet people's needs and exceed their expectations, think about that. I'm telling you, when I retire, I don't want to be told what to do. I mean, let's just break it down. I have to eat between 11 and 12? No, I've worked 50 years in this industry. I'm 75 years old. I want to eat when I want to eat. We wanted people to feel like they have a restaurant within their community and the restaurant's open for business and when you come in, you're going to be able to eat when you want to and, and leave when you want to and you know, dine early, dine late, it, it doesn't matter. We also wanted family and friends to be able to visit loved ones and come here and go, no, I don't want to go off property because I'm, I'm conveniently here and I have a restaurant and the restaurant is good as restaurants in the in the area so that those are really truly the goals I mean I think it's super super important and one of my first things that I put on is a ham and jam slider and it's a house-made cheddar biscuit that just has a fried egg and red pepper jalapeno jelly on it with a little piece of American cheese I mean but it's like I call it like a Mac muffin, you know what I mean? But I, I'll tell you, it's such a good Scooby snack in the morning. Uh, I've added so many great soups to the menu that are made fresh, and, and a lot of them are have health in mind, uh, made from stocks as opposed to creams and butters and stuff like that. So that's really, really good. The lobster roll, I'm a New Englander, so we have that on the menu as well, I mean, which is, which is fun. So, you know, as we go, I just wanna grow it. I think that starting out, you really gotta identify what works and what doesn't and then continue to add to it. So I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. I would say that really they have the ultimate ability to be a part of this whole process. Food is that bridge and that relationship and we need you. Uh, we need you for two reasons. We need, we want to evolve together. We want, we want to, we want to be able to provide you an experience here that basically exceeds all of your expectations, but also know that you matter to us and that your voice will be heard and that we wanna learn and grow together.